Karen Jones here from The Heart Matters with this issue of scrumptious relationships. So we're talking this time about expectations. And you know, as I'm talking about this, I'll bet all kinds of bells are gonna go off because it just is so true. And specifically, because of course we're talking about relationships always, right? And especially scrumptious relationships. Mm -hmm. So think about this. Men will live up to or down to our expectations. I don't have to look any farther than my husband and the difference between who he is with me and who he was with his ex-wife. And I promise you, I have done nothing to change Craig. I married a man who was divine for me. In fact, I'm sorry for those of you who are single and watching this because I did get the best man on the planet, so you're really aiming for number two. I'm sorry. But anyway, as an aside, uh, th and, and imagine what it's like for you if somebody treats you like, oh, I don't know, like you can't be trusted um, or, or like you're not intelligent or like you're not capable. Does that inspire you to be more like that? Or do you basically just eventually, I mean, you might try to prove somebody wrong for a very short while, but after a point, what difference will it make? Right. So, and I'm, of course, I'm not talking about men who absolutely can't be trusted or who are absolutely are, you know, yes, I wrote a book called Men Are Great, but there's a whole chapter devoted to men who aren't great and how to take care of yourself around men like that. So, but assuming you've got a good man, how you see him, what you expect of him, which is different than expectations, right? Just and that's for another video sometime, but just know that when you see him as a man who is not caring about you, is not interested in making you happy, is not trustworthy, is not dependable, is not whatever, he's going to probably behave in ways that match that expectation. So before you keep going down a path, if in fact your path is one that is painful, look at your own inner stuff. Where is it coming from? Is it possible that you've got this lens that's dropped over your eyes that has helped you or hurt you really, but it's it's had you look at your man through a lens that's not very helpful. If so, get the lens off. Try to relate with your man and see your man and expect from your man all of the greatness in him. And you watch what happens, mark my words, he is going to live up to those positive expectations. All right, so, that's your assignment, should you choose to accept it. Until we talk again, have a great couple of weeks.